<clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and do a video more geared toward Valentine's Day because some of us need, you know, a little bit of time to get ready for stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, but first, I think I'm going to go ahead and add the just a tint, um, a go go uh, back on here. And to tell you the truth, I've been dealing with my adult acne, and yes, the journey is real. And so I thought I'd start off by just showing you some of the healing products that I found. Um, since maybe by the time we get to Valentine's Day, the stuff that's going on here will be cleared up. And so uh, these, actually, I got the... Uh, Cause RX, and this one I got over at the Alta at Target, and I think it was about eight dollars and fifty cents. It's a snail mucin, but um, they use this in wound healing in the medical field. So um, I'm using this right now to help clear it up, and I'm also using another Amazon. Well, no, this is an Amazon product, and this is the Hado Labo uh, Premium Highland hyaluronic acid and um, this is very very soothing I think it has like five or seven weights of uh, molecular um, so it has five or seven of the different hyaluronic weights and so it's um, really liking that one too as far as what I have on for my base I went ahead and used the Misha and uh, this is number 21 uh, this Korean brand and I think this is Japanese brand uh, you can get both of these on Amazon and uh, then as far as the rest of the face went ahead and used the Lumi bronze it and medium and um, so that's what I have on as far as bronzer today as far as the blush, I went ahead and used the flower. Uh, this one is the Pyramids in the Rose Glow. So this is what I have on. And um, with this one, it's um, actually a powder product, and you just swirl your brush in it and go ahead and put it on. And so that's what I have on there. Um, let's see. As far as the eyeshadow that I have on today, I have the... Uh, Okay, um, eh, things started rolling, but nothing rolled off the table, so that was good. Um, I have the It's a Small World, <laughs> and um, I went ahead and used this on the brow bone. This is my base color. This on the outer corner. Um, this one, actually, uh, right close to the inner corner. This one uh, is actually red on the middle of the lid. And then I use this one right under the brow and a little bit of the gold for a little bit of sparkle right on the brow bone. This is the way that that turned out. And as far as what I did for mascara, I went ahead and used the Essence Volume Stylist, the 18 hour. And that's what I have on there. Um, as far as going ahead and showing you some palettes that I think would work fun for Valentine's Day, you may have these. Um, so I went ahead and shopped my stash. Um, and It's a Small World is by ColourPop. You can get that at Ulta or on the ColourPop website. And then, um, so this first one is Menage and Moi. And yeah, I don't know French. So sorry about yeah, butchering that one. But it's a really pretty palette if you have it. Um, I don't think it's available anymore. It's a ColourPop palette, but it would be fun to use. Uh, another ColourPop, the Wine and Only palette. So again, these are all Valentine's Day ideas. So um, yeah, this one would work great for Valentine's Day. Um, I think the Berries by Beauty Bay. And this one is the 16... Um, shade palette and this would be great for Valentine's Day gives you a lot of nice corals as well as burgundies and some pinks and it's really pretty and then um, let's see this one is available on Alta it's a ColourPop um, but it's the Amore palette 
and so it's one of their five pan palettes really pretty um, I also thought maybe the rose palette by essence which is kind of this sort of a palette so yeah that would be really pretty for Valentine's Day um, this one is one of the it's a dupe of one of the Huda palettes it's actually called nude and um, yeah this one would work really good for Valentine's Day as well I think with these um, you can pick them up over at TJ Maxx or Ross I'm not sure which one I got that at but I think you can pick them up over there um, with this one the ColourPop um, Orchid Do Not so I thought that this one, yeah, this one would definitely do. That one would be really fun for, um, yeah, for Valentine's Day. And then, um, let's see, The Berries by Juvia's Place. Again, a really Valentine's Day palette. And uh, these colors are just great this time of year. They warm everything up and they make you feel, you know, like you've, like it's warmer outside <laughs> so this one is very bad and this one's by elf I don't know if these are yeah they may not be available but if you have them in your stash they could definitely go ahead and work for um, and this this one is rose water so um, 